back. We're talking about how to raise a resilient child. And this next family faced that question in an unimaginable way when their first son was born with a rare eye disorder. Laura and Ben Harrison were caught off guard by the news, but wanted to make sure they gave him the tools he needed to succeed. Take a look. Ben and I were married for about seven years prior to uh, deciding to start a family. And when I went in to give birth to Jonas, it had to have an emergency C-section. When the doctor did the exam and all of that on Jonas, and kind of told us that she didn't really quite know what was wrong with him, but that it didn't look good. I remember laying in the hospital bed, just screaming like, is he blind, is he blind? And her saying, I don't know, I don't know. So we were referred to Kellogg Eye Center at University of Michigan. She confirmed that in that first appointment that it was Peter's anomaly. Essentially his corneas were cloudy at birth. She said that a lot of times kids with Peter's anomaly do have potential for sight. She gave us kind of that first glimmer of hope. 11 years later, he's gone through 24 eye surgeries now. And I look at his eyes and I'm just like, you're beautiful. Like you're beautiful as you are, no matter what. And we're gonna continue to fight for his sight. Ben and Laura went one step further for their son when shopping for glasses for their son. They realized there wasn't much of a choice in fashionable eyewear for kids. So they created the Jonas Paul Eyewear Company, making glasses for kids that are cool. And according to the website, with every pair sold, Ben and Laura make donations to organizations helping to prevent blindness to at-risk people around the world. Please welcome this amazing family to our show. Uh, <laughs> We're talking about raising a resilient child. Um, what message do you have? Because your family, I think, is the embodiment, mm -hmm. the unexpected, mm -hmm. the unimaginable, and here you are helping other people. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the hardest things to go through as a parent is to see your child suffering. Um, there's been so many, so many nights of tears and hardship that we've faced together, but I think the nice part is we're all, none of us are perfect as adults, and I think the best thing you can do is just be present, consistent, show unconditional love, and just show them that you love them just yeah. as they are. Yeah. Jonas, what advice do you have for other kids out there to keep them all positive as you are? Uh, to just like pull through any event that might come their way and that some, it's like, it's unavoidable to have like some hard things happen and just to be able to pull through and have, be positive and have a good attitude yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're so proud of your brother. Um, a lot of families will go to school and they will, teachers will say, have you had their eyesight checked mm -hmm. out yet? Um, eyeglasses are cool when they're from your company, yeah. <laughs> but it's another thing that sometimes can make kids feel like an outsider. Yeah. And that was the spirit of the company. Yeah. Um, when we first talked, we were like, we've got cool lenses, we've got cool yeah. frames, because it is about, not about fitting in, but it's also about making them feel Absolutely. like they're a part. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. How proud are you of, of John? Oh, so proud. Yeah. I'm proud of both of them. Yes, of course, of course. Sophie is um, such a strong yeah. sibling. Yeah. She just loves her brother, and I'm so proud of him and just all he's gone through in his yeah. life. It's a lot for an 11 year old, but he's just so resilient and we're so thankful for that. Well, this is a resilient family yeah. and thank you for finding purpose in this challenge. And guess what, Tam fam, the studio audience, the Harrison family did not want you to go home empty handed. I love this. They are giving you all a pair of Jonas Paul kids <laughs> stylish sunglasses that you will be able to share with a child in your family. And remember to go to their website and see how they found their purpose and determination to help others in the process.